In this video, you will learn how to properly indent your code. Here's a Carol program where Carol picks up all of the tennis balls in their path. Carol moves to each position and checks if balls are present. If so, Carol will clear all of the tennis balls. After clearing a stack of tennis balls, Carol does a twirl, like this. If we speed up the program, we see that Carol successfully picks up all of the tennis balls and lands at the end of the grid. The code on the right is a solution to this challenge. However, it's very hard to read and understand. That is because we did not properly format the code using indentation. One reason we indent the code is to show the structure and to show how different commands relate to each other. Let's go over some ways we can improve the indentation of the program. Firstly, all of the code of a function should be indented. To indent, we add a tab key in front of each line. So if I wanted to indent line two, I put the cursor to the beginning of the line and hit the tab key. To indent multiple lines, we highlight all of the commands and we hit tab. The same rule applies to the while loop. All of the code in the while loop needs to be indented in the while loop. Similarly, all the code under the if statement also should be indented by one. And the same rule applies to a while loop in our for loop. Now briefly take a look at the code. It has more structure and we understand it a lot better. Let's review and properly indent the code below. We first indent the code in the if statement. Then we indent the code for the while loop and the code in the for loop. If we reset the code and run this, the solution still works, but this time it's cleaner and the structure is more clear.